So in this video, we're looking at the OpenVPN data channel offload or DCO. This is an introduction to this feature. Security is one of the most important things to consider when you're online. The more your online communications are secured with encryption, the better they are. So data encryption has slowed down computing speeds in the past, which has improved with modern CPUs, but we can do more. OpenVPN has just introduced a new feature that will increase the speed for its users by moving the data control to the kernel space. We call it OpenVPN Data Channel Offload or OpenVPN DCO. But before we start, let's see what is kernel space and user space and what data control means. So kernel space and user space refer uh, to different regions in the memory layout of a computer's operating system. These are distinct areas utilized to run different types of uh, software processes. Um, here's basically a brief explanation of both. Kernel space, this is the memory area where the core of the operating system runs and provides its services. This space is reserved for running the kernel, kernel extensions, and most device drivers. In the context, the kernel is the essential center of uh, the computer operating system, the core that provides basic services for all other parts of the operating system. Handling of network packets happen mainly in the kernel and the data is handed over to user space programs like your web browser, email client, and so on. On the other hand, user space um, refers to the memory area where application software and some drivers execute. When you run an application like a web browser or text editor or a game, it is executed in user space. User space applications have restricted access to memory and must uh, make system calls to the kernel in order to perform uh, lower level tasks that interact with the hardware. This ensures that user applications cannot interfere directly with the core of the operating system, helping the system maintain stability and security. If a process in the user space crashes, it's less likely to impact the whole system compared to a crash in the kernel space. As you can see in the diagram, the higher up in a layer, the further away you are from the hardware and the slower your program runs. So when you think about encrypting data, it can be a challenge. Exchanging data between the two layers costs processing power, uh, which introduces a bottleneck for OpenVPN speed. So when OpenVPN establishes a connection, there are two different streams that are going through. Like any other protocol, uh, OpenVPN has a control plane or channel and uh, a data channel. So messages for each of these streams are go uh, all going through the same connection. Control channel is being used for key exchange, authentication, parameter negotiation, like Cypher, and etc. Data channel is where the real user traffic is being exchanged. So to improve performance, this is where we want to focus because that is where the actual user payload is traveling. And since the OpenVPN is a user space application, uh, data channel traffic must cross the kernel space and user space boundary, which causes uh, decrease in performance. As you see on this slide, we see the packets are coming from internet through our Ethernet zero, which is our network interface. So when the packet comes in, uh, it needs to go to user space so OpenVPN can process the packet, which means to decrypt the packet since the traffic uh, through the tunnel is encrypted and possibly to do some kind of routing or sending it back to the kernel space and then to the tunnel zero, and finally to the user space again to the application. So exchanging data between these two layers cost processing power, which introduces a bottleneck for OpenVPN uh, speed. The implementation of OpenVPN data channel offload or OpenVPN DCO has resulted in a Linux kernel module responsible for managing the OpenVPN data channel. This is just a virtual device driver in the Linux kernel that implements the OpenVPN data channel. As a result of this implementation, the need for the OpenVPN to transmit data traffic between user and kernel space 
for routing and encryption or decryption has been eliminated. Now, all operations involving payload happens within the kernel space and enhancing performance. So what happens in DCO is the packets arrive in the OpenVPN DCO kernel module, both data and control packets, and the control packets are transferred to the OpenVPN uh, process as they were before. So the OpenVPN process listens on a port for OpenVPN packets and receives those. But the data packets are filtered away in the kernel directly and don't arrive at the OpenVPN process anymore. But they are uh, decrypted or encrypted in the kernel and sent to the relevant network interface directly without even touching the OpenVPN process in the user space. This eliminates the delay and costs associated with transferring payloads between user and kernel space. This was an introduction to OpenVPN Data Channel Offload or OpenVPN DCO. Please check out our other videos that we go through the steps of how to install and enable DCO on Access Server, how to enable DCO on Client App, and we're going to look at the user experience when the DCO is enabled and when the DCO is disabled. Thank you very much.